Now dear student, we are going to discuss question number 8.2. In this question it is given to you, a parallel plate capacitor made of circular plate each of radius 6 cm. Clear? So we can write like this, radius of this circular plate is given 6 cm. This is equal to 6 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. Clear to everyone? It has a capacitance of 100 picofarad. So we can write like this, capacitance 100 picofarad or we can say 100 multiply 10 to the power minus 2 uh, minus 12 farad clear the capacitance uh, the capacitor is connected to 230 volt ac supply it means we can say vrms it is given to you 230 volt and having angular frequency of 300 radian per second clear so we can say omega this is equal to 300 radian per second clear omega is given to you 300 radian per second this is given now our first objective in this question is to calculate value of rms value of conduction current clear so how can we calculate rms value so first we can write like this i rms i rms equal to v rms divide by now listen carefully actually this capacitor we have so for the capacitor we always write capacitive reactance capacitive reactance is indicated by xc clear so we can say this is equal to v rms divided by 1 upon uh, we can say this is omega c clear so from here you can write like this omega c multiply v rms clear so from here you can see i rms is given by value of omega value of omega we have 300 radian per second so this is 300 radian per second what about c c value is given 100 into 10 to the power minus 12 or we can say 10 to the power minus 10 farad clear so 10 to the power minus 10 farad multiply we can say vrms vrms is given 230 volt clear so this is multiplied with 230 clear so from here you can say 3 into 10 to the power minus 8 multiply 20 uh, 230 clear so we can say this is equal to 69 into 10 to the power minus 7 ampere clear or we can write like this this is equal to 6.9 into 10 to the power minus 6 ampere and this is 6.9 micro ampere clear to everyone 6.9 micro ampere this is value of irms clear so this is all about part number a in part number b it is given is the conduction current is equal to displacement current yes definitely i can say that conduction current is equal to displacement current conduction displacement current is equal to conduction current how can we say actually there is one formula for displacement current displacement current this is equal to epsilon naught d phi e by dt clear so from here we can write like this this is equal to epsilon naught d by dt and what about phi e phi e we can say this is equal to b dot a b dot a now listen carefully now let's suppose here we have positive charge at a certain instant of time here we have negative charge so definitely electric field in this direction and area vector is also perpendicular to this circular surface clear so we can say both are in a same direction so directly we can say angle between them is zero now from here we can take this area outside d by dt and this is equal to b clear yes or no yes so from here actually this is electric field okay just a minute from here you can say this is value e clear because here we have electric field not magnetic field so this is e and this is also e clear now we know for a parallel plate capacitor we can say value of e between parallel plate uh, between this space is given by sigma upon epsilon naught and we are assuming initially that we are assuming there is no any dielectric medium present between these parallel plates clear so from here you can see e value we can write like this this is q upon a epsilon naught clear so now i am placing this value here so this is equal to what epsilon naught a d by dt clear this is equal to q upon a epsilon naught clear so from here you can write like this epsilon naught a uh, multiply we are taking this epsilon naught a outside and this is equal to dq by dt clear 
So from here we can say this one and this one cancelled out and this is equal to what dq by dt clear. So from here we can say if this is displacement current dq by dt is actually rate of flow of electric charges and this is equal to what conduction current clear. So from here you can see that uh, we can directly say that conduction current is equal to uh, displacement current clear. Always keep in mind outside parallel plate capacitor we have only conduction current and displacement current is zero. So to maintain consistency we actually find that between parallel plate capacitor we have displacement current and conduction current is zero clear and magnitude wise both are same clear. Now listen. Now if we talk about part number C. In part number C it is given yes determine the amplitude of B means magnetic field at a point 3 centimeter from the axis between plates clear. Now you can say let's suppose we are talking about because AC uh, source is uh, corrected here. So at an instant let's suppose here we have positive this is negative and let's suppose this is axis between this space or axis of these two circular plate. Let's suppose I am taking one point let's suppose we are taking a point P where we have to find magnetic field and it is given this is at a distance 3 centimeter clear. So for that one first you will uh, draw here an ampere and loop clear. So first we draw an ampere and loop. So I am just drawing ampere and loop like this. This is ampere and loop clear. Now so can we ap apply here ampere circuit law? Yes we can apply ampere circuit law. So how can we write here? We can write like this if we apply ampere circuit law this is given by integral of b dot dl this should be equal to mu naught we can write here this is i enclosed clear. Now our next objective is to calculate i enclosed how we will find listen we can say actually radius of this surface is given that is r. So from here we can say whenever we have area pi r square current that is flowing this is displacement current id clear. Whenever we are having let us suppose this is 3 centimeter is equal to small r. So we are having area pi r square. So when we have area pi r square what is value of current this is flowing. So we can say this is given by id clear id pi small r square divided by pi capital r square clear. From here we can say pi and pi this is cancelled out. So this is equal to what id and multiply r square divided by capital r square clear. So this is value of current that is going through this ampere and loop clear. Now you can say sir uh, how can this magnetic field is produced here. So you can imagine actually there is no any physical conducting wire is present here but we are saying because because we are assuming this concept that displacement current is flowing. So if I put my thumb in this direction uh, this curling finger represent direction of magnetic field. Now you can say sir how we know that here we have a displacement current. So actually we practically observe let us suppose if we are bringing any magnetic compass between these parallel plates. So at the time that magnetic uh, the needle magnetic needle of that compass is actually deflecting. So when this is deflecting so magnetic needle deflect only when when there is a magnetic field is to be there clear. So now we can see from there we can see if there is a magnetic field between parallel plate capacitor it means there should be any current and actually that current is not uh, is visible or there is no any conducting wire that's why we are just saying this is displacement current clear. So from here you can see that current that is flowing through this ampere and loop this is given by id r square divided by capital r square clear. So now we can write like this b dot dl first listen carefully b dot dl. So if I am taking here this is a very small element area vector in this direction b is also in the same direction clear. So from here we can write like this b clear integral cyclic integral of dl this is equal to mu naught we can say this is id small r square divided by capital r square clear. From here we can say dl. Now if I write dl 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 then we can say this is equal to what 2 pi r clear because this is line integral. So we can say this is 2 pi r and this is given by mu naught id this is r square divided by capital r square. So from here we can say r and r this is cancelled out clear. So 
वैल्यू ऑफ बी दिस इज गिवन बाई म्यू नॉट आई डी डिवाइड बाई टू पाई कैपिटल आर स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाइड विद आर क्लियर सो दिस इज एन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड नाउ वी कैन फाइंड दिस वैल्यू सो नाउ आई एम प्लेसिंग दिस वैल्यू वी आर एक्चुअली पुटिंग ऑल द वैल्यूज लाइक म्यू नॉट आई डी टू पाई आर स्क्वायर एंड स्मॉल आर क्लियर सो नाउ कंसनट्रेट Yes. So from here we can say this value is given to you b. B is given by uh, I can say mu naught mu naught i d mu naught i d divided by two pi r square and we can say this is smaller. So student now this formula we have b equal to mu naught i d upon two pi r square multiply r. Now I can put all values mu naught. This is given by four pi into ten to the power minus seven into i d. Now, what is value of ID? ID is actually maximum current between parallel plate capacitor, and when conduction current is equal to displacement current, then we can say this ID corresponds to maximum value of current. So, maximum value of current means we can say this is equal to under root two times of I RMS. Clear? Multiplied with R divided by we can say two pi into R square. Capital R we have six centimeter. So, six into six into ten to the power minus four. Clear? From here we can say this is equal to what two. So two into ten to the power minus seven. Clear under root two. I R M S. I R M S is given to you. This is six point nine micro, six point nine micro ampere. So this is ten to the power minus six. Multiply. What about R? R is three centimeter. Three into ten to the power minus two. Clear divided by. We can say divided by. Just. So from here we can see it is divided by equal to six into six into ten to the power minus four. Clear? Now we can see this one and this one cancel out ten to the power minus two. This is ten to the power minus four. Clear? From here we can say this is three and from here we can say this is two point three. Clear? Two point three. So from here we can see value of B. Value of B we have this is two point three into ten to the power two point three into three. Into 10 to the power minus 4. 2.3 into 3 into 10 to the power minus 4 into we can say 10 to the power minus 7. Clear? Multiply under root 2. Clear to everyone? 2.3 multiply 3. 10 to the power minus 4 under root 2. 10 to the power minus 7. Clear? 2.3 3. I can say 10 to the power minus 4. 10 to the power minus 7 under root. Clear? Now we can say it is divided by 6 only. Clear? From here you can see this is equal to what two. So B is given by two point three under root two divided by two into ten to the power minus eleven Tesla. Clear? Now from here you can see we can write like this two point three into one point four divided by two into ten to the power minus eleven Tesla. So now if I multiply two point three with one point four, we can see this is what forty two. We have four, so thirty two. Clear? So it is divided by two. Now we can say here this is three point two two, clear? And it is multiplied by ten to the power minus eleven Tesla. So from here we can say this is one, and we have six, and this is one point six zero into ten to the power minus eleven Tesla, clear? So this is value of magnetic field. So this is all about this question.